Hello, my name is Shadley, and welcome back to another episode of The Last Kingdom in our Forex. And uh, in previous episode, we had quite a bit of problems communicating with the aliens, and no, we haven't actually translated the language yet either. But uh, we did get the jump drive efficiency number oh, 6 right now, so that's going to be very handy. And uh, we do have. Uh, well, it's going to be November next year once we get the iron drive efficiency or iron drive tech. We are building more research facilities and I think the next ones are also going to go to the Iron Trout Tech right now because we really need those engines, I feel like. Otherwise, uh, we're going to have some problems in the future if it becomes a war. But anyway, let's quickly redesign the jump uh, engines here. So, since with the better efficiency, we're going to make it a fairly good... Well, it's actually going to be a bit too big a capacity for the... Survey vessels and the smaller vessels in general, but we'll create that one. Actually, we'll put in uh, 88 in the name there, just so that we know which year it was researched. So we'll do that. Uh, then we'll make at least uh, one that has 10 kiloton capacity for military engines. Later on, we may need to get bigger ones as well, but. So we'll create that, and then uh, commercial jump drives, uh, we can go quite a bit smaller, but we'll actually make one that has 10 kiloton uh, right there, just in case, if we need to have some small commercial vessels that can jump. So we can have that, uh, 88 on that one, um, actually... There's no updated name anymore, so we'll create that one. We can just fix the numbers there. Oh, that's self jump only. Oh, interesting. Okay, sure. Right then, if we want to have the fifty kiloton, that would be just fifty over there, and create that. So that would be basically for the um. Jump tenders, and then we'll want to have something that has at least a hundred kiloton capacity as well. So that is quite big, uh, <laughs> to be fair. But I have a feeling that we will use it eventually. Now, these are not going to be priority research. I just want to have them ready to go. Uh, let's get going, shall we? Now we did drop in more infrastructure here, so we should actually uh, let's have a look. How much do we have? Uh, no, that's not half a clear. Over here, uh, we could have quite a bit more. So let's send in the Royal Cargo, not Cargo, Colony 1. Where you actually need to refuel real quick. But what you're going to do is you're going to load the colonists there. Then you're going to go to the Barracuda Herd number 1, I think. Refuel from there and then auto route back to Shamshir. I'll declare. Uh, unload colonists. And then make your way back through Coloradia and Barracuda and go to Veralis. I'll see you all refueling next time later. But we can get some of the uh, population in here. Right, so the collection has completed order, so that means that we've gotten a bit more minerals in here again. Uh, we've got a little bit more. I think it just unloaded it at Tritame and Boron. Let's actually have a good look. In Mimu, ooh, oh. We've still got quite a bit of Mercassium in there. Alright then, well, I suppose the Collection 1 has uh, one more trip to do. At least, well, technically, even two would be pretty decent. So you did refuel, at least. Alright, well, let's go back to Nimmin. Actually, the population in here is starting to be rather big. Okay, well, uh, load all minerals. And then auto back to Barracuda, and unload all... Well, we can probably refuel, and then unload all minerals. There we go. Oh. Okay, so let's have a look. 900 million would be somewhere around here about. And then 107 degrees, so they're right about there. Interesting. Uh, can we see the signatures? Okay, so we haven't gotten any more of the... Oh, we got the trade fleet coming in here, and that's going to bring in at least one deep space tracking station. I think we had another trade fleet bringing in another four, 
So we'll have quite a few tracking stations in here, and that's going to give us some pretty good information about the system. And it's going to give us a bit of a... Ooh. Now they are... Okay, so they are moving about here somewhere. Not entirely sure where exactly. Oh, we got another Orbit Pike Battalion. Um, a Pike, not Bike. Uh, right, so the troop ships are both in transit still, so we can't use them. But that's alright. We'll get to use them soon enough. Right, so there was something going into Diamond by the looks of it that was doing the communication. And Orlando Cargo has completed orders. Oh, well, actually, uh, if Orlando Cargo... Did you have a second cargo ship, or is that just... No, you, you do actually have a second cargo ship. Which has two. Okay, you know what? Since we do have the extra ship in here, I'm just going to transport you in there. And let's have a quick look at what's the situation in Orlando's capital. Or, well, not necessarily the capital, but their home planet there in Cortana. Half a million population. They have some workers. They are not working on anything right now. Maybe get some mines in there. There's Sorium, Mercassium, and quite a few other things. So yeah, what you are going to do is you're going to load mines. Auto to Cortana. It's actually not all that long trip, to be fair. Then unload all the installations, auto route back to Barracuda, and we're going to repeat that order, and then what you're going to do is you're going to refuel at the Barracuda herd number 2, and then go back to Veralis, and I'm going to give you new orders at that point. But we're going to at least get some mineral production in here, and then if we can get some construction factories, they can start working on at least producing a little bit. Probably not particularly useful there, but could be worse. I mean, the volume that they'll be producing is not going to be particularly good. And actually, the Barracuda herd number one is right over here, and it's actually a pretty good location for the ships that are passing by. Although they are, oh, there's the oiler. Okay, yeah, uh, Royal Tuck has completed orders. Fair enough. So, was there any fuel left in here? Um, a tiny bit. How much fuel do we have in... Okay, we got 18 million in Viralis. Caldera is probably running a bit dry. It's got 8 million still. Crescenia has 11 and a half. Not too bad, I suppose. There's a lot of civilian vessels running about here. Mostly... Raiders, I have a feeling about... I think... Okay, so we've got another construction battalion. Oh no, we started producing another construction battalion. We've got another regiment headquarters. We just want to get a lot of infantry, well, not necessarily infantry, but a lot of ground units just so that we can dig in. Let's have a look. Civilians, construction, another fuel harvester, alright then. And... That's 400 million from... Ooh. Oh! Oh! Hold on a minute, eight. 400 million from here is about 26, so they are rather close. Like somewhere around there. Okay, uh, the question is... Are we going to see them or... Oh, yeah, we can. Ooh, that is heading right into our colony. It's a military engine. Has quite a bit of speed. Um, how far is that? Still pretty far. Okay, um, I think I'm going to get a bit scared now. I think this may be a bad idea. I'm going to turn on the axes for a quick moment here. Just so that we know what sort of enemy or... If they are coming in, they seem to be still heading in. We can't see any... Hmm... They got their actives on. Okay, so we know that it's... okay. Right. 
Right, well, we don't have any weaponry in here. We can still still see the ship, but now we at least know what type of speed it can go, what size is it. We know their thermal signature, so we can technically extrapolate from that most likely their... Well, actually, no. Well, no, we can't really extrapolate their tech level from there. Right, um, I'm going to take a risk. I'm going to put the actives off. If they're coming in to destroy us, then they can do that even without us having the actives on. Oh, I think they closed their actives as well. No, they activated them again. Oh, right, so there is actually a moon orbiting there. I had forgotten that. Did we get any of the orbital bikes in here? Uh, how to clear? No. Our troops are fairly well defensive, or fairly well fortified at least, and they can see our troops in there. Okay, I'm just taking it very slowly. Uh, how far are they? Can we see their distance? 3.6 million. 2.9, 2.3, 2.6, okay, so they are approaching. If they were firing missiles, well, I mean, we probably wouldn't see that, but it would have uh, done something. But let's take it slow, because they might be coming in to attack us. Because we are kind of in the system that they probably want for themselves, or they might be just coming to pick up their troops, that's also a possibility. They're not firing. They're not firing. They don't have their sensors on either. Okay. I wonder if that's the diplomacy ship then. Can we see any of the... Uh, no, we can't see much about them. Interesting. Okay, well... Oh, they got the axis on. The speed is now zero. They're putting their axes on every now and then, by the looks of it, but... Other than that, they're not really doing much. They might be just keeping track on what sort of troops we have... Or what, how much troops we have down there. Okay, well... At least they're not shooting. So I guess it's a positive... ...thing right now. I wonder if we could just maybe translate their language soon. Because that would be handy. Now remember the in earlier versions, there was a bug where one side would translate the language of the other, and then the other one would not be able to translate that, but I believe that's been fixed at least. Right, so Drapely is just dropping stuff there. Oh, and it's heading over that way, okay. Maybe there were... Is that there? That could be there. Survey vessel, I suppose. Also, they seem to have a stabilizer jump point to diamond. Ooh. Interesting. Nope, they, they got back in here. They're clearly doing something. I just have no idea what it is. Oh, now it's following our trade fleet, or is it just going out? Hold on. Where did it go? Maybe it's following the trade fleet. That could be it. Uh, how far can we see... Okay, so we should be able to see it. It's probably stopped there, and now we can't see it at all. Oh, and it appeared again, so yeah, it did stop. 
And it's going back and forth, stopping every now and then. Okay, uh, we've got another lab. Let's put that on the iron drive. We can get that a little bit faster. So it's going to be September next year then. Okay, well, it doesn't seem to be a attacking us at least, so we can probably keep on going. Now stop there again. We got the troop ship coming in. Uh, is that that didn't have any? No, it has the footman and the contractor battalion there. We know that they still got about ten kiloton worth of troops in there. Oh. Okay. Uh, communications attempt with the Diamond Aliens have resulted in very limited progress. Due to improving relation or diplomatic relations, the Diamond Aliens has informed us we are no longer regarded as hostile. We now have a neutral relationship. Okay. Well, that's a relief. Maybe they hated us a little bit for the active sensors that we used on them. Let's have a look. So, do we have any. Oh. Diplomatic rating has gone up a lot of it. Just a tiniest bit, but it is better than nothing. Unloaded the troops there. There we go. Let's actually have a look. Uh, how to clear. So we got the contraction battalion here. We may need to... Actually. There's the one footman battalion that has not... Okay, so which one would that be? That would be 79th is not particularly well. You know what, I can technically put it under there. It's going to be over the limit that I can effectively command, but it should still give the bonuses. And the Contractor Battalion is now in the same unit, or, well, formation as the other units, so it should start help fortifying the units even more. Interesting. Right, well. So I guess we're going to be spotting that ship going about for a while now. Minimal progress. Oh, right, yeah, we didn't get any progress on the communication because we didn't see them. They saw us, but we didn't see them. Although, actually, did we... We did improve the range that we spot with there, um, I think. Let's see, how to clear. We've got four deep space tracking stations there now, yes. So if they had a proper colony in there, we could probably soon see it, but I don't think they have that big of a colony yet. They might have something there, but we're going to at least spot a decent bit in there, and then we got the other trade fleet should be arriving soon. You are bringing in more infrastructure, are you not? Yes, you are. And no, we can't actually see anything else. Okay, we can probably take day turns. Oh. Uh-oh. Apparently they decided to declare war. Uh huh. Okay, let's uh, have a look at. There's so many things, so let's uh, z go up here. So they started firing. Civilians are dying. I've lost some infrastructure there. Um, new alien ground unit detected. Designation infantry. Weapon of alien ground unit has been classified. Penetration 15, ooh. Because the Footman Battalion has uh, been completely annihilated. I think, okay. Uh huh. No, so not everyone has been, but a lot of them have been. And we've taken some losses there, remaining units, remaining units, okay. Well, that's um, not good. Should not have taken that big of a. Uh, Okay, did they... they only started firing on the troops, though. The ground defense summary losses 15 supply vehicles, uh, 15 night squads, 4 footman squads. Oh wait, that's not all of them, is it? Okay, um, let's have a look at the... Stuff in here, then. What do we know about them? 
First of all, we know that they're hostile now, so we'll mark them as that. Uh, Crown unit classes, we know that they go anti-air team, anti-tank teams, and infantry. Ship classes, so... Uh, this one... They didn't start firing it, did they? We have a current contact there. I'm still trying to attempt communication with them, but that doesn't seem to be working. Partially because we can't actually see them, can we? Alright then. Well, the diplomacy messenger. I guess it's time for you to sacrifice yourselves. Just put on the actives. Take five seconds there. So we can at least see the crown it is there now. Let's have a quick look. How much troops do we still have left there? Um... <laughs> Wait, did we lose everything? I think we lost everything. Wow. Well, that was effective. Oh yeah, we lost something probably for the orbital bombardment or something. I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, that didn't go well. Okay, let's see. Take uh, I know that the second crown combat phase is not going to happen anytime soon yet. That, actually that ship is not all that close. No, so it's not within firing distance at least. It was just giving them sight of my troops, I think. Okay, they're not doing anything. Well, that is very concerning though. Okay, so are the royal troops... Actually, this trade fleet, turn around. We don't want to drop anything. Actually, you are already heading back, aren't you? Yes, you are. Then this royal cargo, on the other hand. Um, remove all. Go to Shamshir, go to Calderadia. You can drop your infrastructure into Caldera on your way. All installations, then go back to Barracuda. Go to Virales. We'll give you orders to refuel once you're there. So that's heading to Shamshir. Everything over here except the diplomacy station is heading back. Quickly have a look at Shamshir. Do we have anything in here? We got the Royal Cargo that is going back to Colorado. And the highway construction over there. Okay. Uh, that is pretty bad news though. They just annihilate annihilated our entire units there. We don't know the exact sizes there. Uh, actually I wonder, did we if we can scroll back here, so Yeah, I think they pretty much destroy all of our units there. And I think on the next one, we are going to lose our colony in there. So a quick look. So in Arctic Claire, can we see anything about the environment right now? Is there any dust in the air or anything like that? Ah, uh, there's a little bit dustier. Yeah. Which does drop the temperature down a little bit. Not enough to actually stop us from... Because we still got 100,000 people in there. So we've got the space tracking stations. Got some infrastructure in there. Okay, that reminds me we should probably send the colony ship back. So instead of going through Shamshir, uh, remove all. So you're currently in Claradia. Um, You know what? Uh, how about we go to Durandal? and unload people on the... actually we could probably unload over here. We got some infrastructure there already. It might be a bit too much. Actually a lot too much probably, but we'll unload the colonists there anyway. And then we'll go back to Barracuda. Go to Varalis. Okay, so... It is war then. It is war. Okay, we can probably afford taking a bit longer 
Let's get in here. So a full day was too much. At least with active contacts. Take one hour. This should be crowned. Okay, yeah. And the messenger surrendered. Oh, Christ. Okay, well. They have taken half a clear. I think it's time for us to mark that to be under alien control. Still don't have proper communications with them. Let's have a look. So, Colorado is 15. Okay, so if we need to defend, we can defend in some sheer with the ships that we have in Calradia. Although I'm not entirely sure. Oh, we should have the speed advantage in theory. But we do not know what sort of weaponry they have. That ship didn't fire though. Well. I guess it's... Oh. Do we still have some troop ships heading this way? Or something, because it's trying to... You're heading back. You are heading back. Do I have something that is trying to head to... Oh. Royal Cargo 3 was trying to head to How to Clear, wasn't it? Right, well, why don't you go back to Coloradia? Oh, right, cycle orders. Right, that makes sense. Okay, so now... Just go back to... Barracuda and Veraz. We'll give you new orders there. And you have cycle orders, but you go between... Caldera and Veraz. Did that fix it? Nope. There's still something that is trying to go there. Okay, let's... Uh, hmm. It's probably one of the trade fleets then. You're currently in Shamshir. Are you actually in Colorado? You were trying to get there, probably. So I'm gonna send you... You got the deep space tracking... Oh, right, we didn't... Well, how about... We drop them in Caldera instead. And then you can go back to Barracuda and go to Veralis. Just going through all of these. So you got your Caldera and Lubick route there. You got you. You're going to Mimung. You're unloading stuff in Caldera and you are in How to Clear System. Wait a minute, did. No, it was only the diplomacy ship that we lost. Right, uh, standard transit, and go to Colorado, auto route, and go to Barracuda, that's probably got the best move there. And I believe we may actually, yes, we are well over time for this episode, so we're going to end it here. So thank you all for watching, and until next time, bye-bye.